I know they treat it like a slur word and everything, but the term TERF is way too kind. It means, of course, trans-exclusionary radical feminist, which is a fucking contradiction in terms. There's no way you can be trans-exclusionary and a feminist. That would be like saying you were a feminist except for Asian women. The reality of it, if you ask me, is that trans women take an awful lot of heat off cis women and some cis chicks are just thrilled to pass on the bigotry burden. Basically, they're trying to distract lawmakers from their uterus by pointing to a trans chick trying to take a piss. And boy, is that distraction working. Just look at Utah, where they're on the verge of passing a law that could include up to six months in prison for using the bathroom that matched your gender, provided that gender didn't line up with the assessment of a disinterested doctor looking at a one-minute-old junk. This is House Bill 257. And it would make it illegal to use the bathroom that matched your gender identity unless you'd undergone gender reassignment surgery and had your birth certificate updated to reflect your current gender, which isn't even allowed in several states. And as if an afterthought, the bill would redefine sex for legal purposes in such a way to exclude trans people. The bill isn't a law yet, of course, but there doesn't seem to be much standing in its way. There was fierce opposition when it came time to make public comments. 47 people spoke against the bill compared to 10 that spoke in favor of it, but it passed out of committee five to three, and now it's going to Utah's overwhelmingly Republican Senate floor for final passage. And even if just the gross unfairness of this doesn't outrage you as a supposed feminist, maybe you could think of some other reason not to put the state in a position where law enforcement has to check people's genitals to enforce the law which is how this law has to work. I mean, some rando says, hey, that lady just came out of the bathroom is trans. How else are you going to prove otherwise? The law specifically says it has to match what it says on your birth certificate. So what it says on your driver's license isn't going to save you here. Speaking of which, not to be outdone by Utah, the state of Florida is considering a law to expedite similar bigotry there. They just had a testament to transphobia pass out of committee in the form of House Bill 1639, which, among other things, would force trans people to put the gender they were assigned at birth on their driver's license. And make no mistake, the only purpose this could possibly serve is an aid to tell law enforcement which brand of misogyny to apply to you. Standard garden variety misogyny or extra strength trans chick misogyny. And by the way, when I said among other things, I didn't mean to imply that the other shit was trivial. One of the things in question is a change that would require any health plan that covers treatments for hormone replacement therapy and surgeries for people with gender dysphoria also cover the cost of so-called detransitioning. So yeah, the red states are basically in a competition to see who can pack the most transphobia into a single bill. And if you aren't opposed to that, you haven't earned the right to call yourself a feminist. If you're not here to protect all women, then get the fuck off my turf. And on that note, I'll wrap things up and hand you back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli.